Today marked the final day on earth for Mary Njambi Koikai, a.k.a. Fire Mama Njambi. She was laid to rest here at the Langata Cemetery after battling endometriosis, a condition that she has battled for over 20 years. I'm going to talk about Fire Mama Jambi. This is a special tribute to this gracious lady who made a difference in the world of entertainment. Before that, subscribe to my YouTube channel, Philippe Tale. Like it and share this video. Shine on your way, fire mama. Shine on your way, fire mama. This is one of the songs that rendered the air here at the Langata Cemetery when Mary Njambi Koikai, popular known as Fire Mama Jambi, was being laid to rest. Thousands of mourners from all walks of life, not just in Nairobi, but also from across the country, came to Langata Cemetery to bid farewell to this gracious woman, a lady who shone in the entertainment front and made a difference. She was a woman like no other. One of the women who would stand and say, I'm a reggae person, I'm a Rasta person. You know, in Jamaica, reggae music is a source of revenue. But again, it's important to know that reggae music has a message that re resonates with a lot of people, especially the downtrodden people across the world and the ghetto people always associate with reggae music. She appealed to this kind of people. She appealed to this group of people and she moved crowds everywhere she went. She has left a mark on the entertainment scene in our country. As she was being late to rest today. There was a funeral service. She passed on one and a half weeks ago and her story is saddening. I first met Njambi Kuikai when we worked at KBC Broadcasting House back in the day in 2000s. She worked at Metro FM, which was an entertainment radio station, and I worked in the newsroom. We became friends, and ever since, we kept our friendship, even when both of us went different ways, but still in the communication world. Jambi stuck to reggae music. She ate, she drank, she slept reggae music. She loved reggae music. She knew every new song that was released in the reggae world. She understood the message and could sing all the lyrics without hesitation. Fire Moment Jambi was a woman who could attract crowds whenever she had gigs across the country. She visited many parts of the country. She visited Kisumu. She visited Bungoma. She visited Transoya. She went to Meru Kinoru Stadium and pulled a massive crowd. Everywhere she went, 
people always followed her. The Itin Meru, Kinoru Stadium, people follow her from Nairobi to go to Kinoru just because of what she did. Even as she went through pain of the condition that she had, Fire Mama was relentless. She fought that battle even without crying out loud. Yet deep in her heart, she was in pain. So much pain. You can imagine several surgeries just on one person, about 10 to 15 surgeries on one person. And still she could stand before people and say, Ja Rastafari. Let's listen to reggae music. That was Fire Moma Jambi. In Atlanta, where she went for treatment, although endometriosis is a condition that is not treatable, she went through the pain, she went through the treatment, and came back to Kenya rejuvenated and full of life and started a show, The Return of Fire Mama. Jambi was praying. Jambi was crying out to the heavens. Jambi was calling God to her space. And that's what I want to challenge all of us. That whatever challenges that you're going through, changamoto ile unapitia, mambo imechemuka, don't forget to call on God. Fire Mama was known to many great reggae artists from the Morgan heritage to Lociano, to Richie Spice, to Etana, name them. She was a darling of the people. And every time they visited Kenya, they were proud to be associated with Fire Mama Jambi. And her death is testament that she had friends listening to the tributes. It tells you Fire Mama was a people's person. We are concert yangu ya reggae ya kwanza yendo alinipeleka. Yeah. Mimi nilikuwa nimezoea tu reggae ya kusikia kwa nyumba. Eh. Amenitoa kwa nyumba akasema ilikuwa ni Richie Spice na Kam. Eh. Wewe asego hawezi kwa mzembe hivi. Kwani umezekaaje? <laughs> Alafu eh. akasema lazima tuende reggae. Mimi na uzembe yangu nimejipeleka na nimesema sasa tunangaraje. Mimi ndio mtu wa kwanza na mtu wa mwisho nilifika reggae na viatu za white. Allah. <laughs> akasema without fail Ujaka itakumalita. Yeah. <laughs> That's how I found myself listening to reggae until 4 a.m. in the morning. I just say, you know, live your life the way Jambi would have wanted you to live your life. You know, take your time, but don't waste your time. Because there's no time. But let's, you know, emulate Jambi's fire. Uh, she's a force of nature. And let's carry her spirit with, her, with us. In everything we do, in our different careers, in our academics, in our chasing excellence. Yeah. Nile kwa best Nyanza nilicheki tu na ni force kubwa sana kufanya mafans ku Nyanza wapende reggae music. Na ni look around kaja kucheki nani anaweza polio numbers. So ni get back kwa Jambi Koikai maana ke Jambi Koikai tulikosha fanya naye kazi for so long tangu around 2007 tukiona selector techniques. In fact mimi na selector techniques tumekuwa tukifanya Jambi Name a show for so long, Sana. And the banter that we shared, I think Sijawai share banter in Guinea Yoyote, is Pokwa na Jambi. Jackie and Ajua, Jackie Alkona Mita, Jachirini, Mi Alkona Chaitesi, Nauyu, Samale, Kosba Bolkona Penda on Yarwanda, Sana, Seti Kulkona on Yarwanda Wengi. And she really loved the Rwandese community. She loved Rwanda, she loved Rwandese. I think Meskia, even from our other friend Munya Pia Metoka Rwanda. Um alikuwa anapenda kusikia vile ma aunties na wa mama wa Nyarwanda walikuwa naongea Kiswahili na accent ya Kinyarwanda. It used to it used to just rip her but ana cheka kabisa. Na tulikuwa tunacheka tunaanguka chini. As in kama kuna mtu alikuwa anacheka anacheka kabisa ni jambi. Even as she lays to rest here at the Langata Cemetery and the thousands and thousands of her supporters and followers mourn Fire Mama 
has left a legacy. She has left an indelible mark on her career as an entertainer and also as a journalist. She was a journalist by profession, but she chose the path of entertainment, which was her passion. I spoke to her regularly. We always cracked jokes. And I remember when we met at Java at the Junction Mall sometime in March, when I had gone to have a cup of tea in the evening, she said, I'm going to pay this bill. And I said, no, I'm a man, I'll pay for you. And she said, Phil, can't a lady pay for a man? I will do it. And I said, just do it, mama. And she paid the bill. She loved making friends. We shall miss Fire Mama Jambi. Reggae fans across the country and the world will miss Fire Mama Jambi. She did her best. She fought the fight. And for the 20 years plus that she fought endometriosis, she was resilient and determined that life has to go on. Fare thee well, Fire Mama Jambi. And as this song that was sung today rings on my mind, there is no night in Zion, there is no night. Hallelujah, there is no night there. King Rastafara is our light, and we need no other light. Hallelujah, there is no night there. Rest in peace, Fire Mama Jambi.